If you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you know that I am a huge fan of setting goals. I use goal setting for my personal life, my professional life, and also for this hobby of comic book collecting. The only thing that I like more than setting a goal is achieving a goal. And I have two new goals that I wanna share with you that I've set for 2020, and I'm probably going to need some assistance from you. But if you want to hear what these goals are, I definitely want to encourage you to stay tuned for the video. But before we get going, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I definitely want to encourage you to do so, to turn on notifications so that you can stay abreast of all the content that I release on a weekly basis. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, I am going to spend a little bit of time talking about my two goals for 2020, at least the two that I want to share publicly right now. <laughs> but these are BHAG. And if you don't know what a BHAG is, it stands for a big, hairy, audacious goal. These are really big goals, lofty goals that you set for yourself and then you try to accomplish them. And there is typically a, a plan that is put in place in order to help you achieve your BHAG goal. Just recently, I completed my BHAG goal for 2019. And that was basically to do a full run of Amazing Spider-Man. And I managed to achieve that goal. I literally have every Amazing Spider-Man comic that has come out. Well, the A covers mostly, uh, some of the variants I have, but I was really focused on the A covers. Nevertheless, I have achieved that goal. And it's a pretty lofty goal. And it's something that I'm extremely proud of as a comic book collector and also a fan of Amazing Spider-Man. And um, I, as I mentioned, really like setting goals and I like taking those goals down. And what I attempted to do once I finished this goal with Amazing Spider-Man is I wanted to take some time to really sit back and just appreciate what I had just accomplished. I wanted to make sure that I enjoyed that moment instead of just rushing out to set another goal. I wanted to take some time to think about what is it that I want? What is it that I want to do with my collection? What do I want to achieve in this new year as it relates to this hobby? And I, I think that I have it. And I also have a goal that I'll share with you specifically for this channel. And again, that's where I may need a little bit of help for, from you guys. So. My, my first goal that I want to talk about is to secure Amazing Fantasy 15. And this is actually a, a BHAG that I identified in 2019. But what I realized uh, when I set two big, hairy, audacious goals, I realized very quickly that it was pretty tough to achieve two goals at the same time, especially two that were so lofty. And so what I did is I decided to basically put Amazing Fantasy 15 on the back burner to give myself the, the, the resources that I needed to take down Amazing Spider-Man. Because at the time, it was a really, really daunting task. But now that I've achieved that, I feel like I'm in a place where I can now go after Amazing Fantasy 15 again. And what I'll tell you is that I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of status updates on this particular book. And it's because it's not like achieving a run where I can do haul after haul and show you guys the books and talk about the process. Uh, you know, getting Amazing Fantasy 15 is really going to be about saving money. <laughs> I mean, it's really about saving money and so uh that is not video worthy you know because i can't really give you updates on on how much my savings account contains at least the savings account that i've set up for af15 um so there won't be a whole lot of updates but what i will tell you is that publicly there will be some things that i am actually doing that will ladder back to this goal so there are going to be projects and uh, programs and things like that that I roll out that if you're paying attention you will realize 
tie back to Amazing Fantasy 15, right? Because it's all about saving money. It's all about making money so as to repurpose those funds for this particular book. And that's actually something that I've spoken about in previous videos about making uh, the hobby work for me, right? And using money from the hobby to reinvest back into the hobby. That is essentially what I'm going to be doing. And so there won't be all of the updates and things like that. So you guys will have to bear with me. And I know people are going to want to know how close are you? Trust me when I tell you that when I get close, every single person will know that I am close. And if I'm not talking about it, I that means I am not close, but I am definitely going to be working towards it. So the, the second goal that I've set for myself, uh, again, at least that I want to share right now, is actually one for the channel. And what I am laying out there right now is that I want to reach 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. And, and this is a pretty lofty goal. I'm currently at around, I think, 6,400 subscribers or something like that. So 10,000 in 2020 is actually a pretty big number. My, my buddy, um, Comics with Bueller, just reached 9,000 subscribers recently and is well on his way to achieving that mark. And he and I started channels roughly around the same time. But I am really focused on trying to make this happen. And some might think because of what I just said that it's about competition. It's not. Comics with Bueller is a fantastic guy and we have nothing but friendly competition with one another in the sense that I think we motivate one another to keep doing better, to keep striving for more. So that's that's where I'm coming from with that particular comment. And it's certainly not about ego, right? I mean, it, let's be honest, it's really cool to have 10,000 people follow the channel, but it's not even about ego. You know, I feel like I put out good content. I feel like I put into the comic book community a lot, a lot of positivity, a lot of energy, a lot of insight, a lot of things that I think are really helpful for the individuals and for the comic book community as whole. At least that's what I believe. And so to that end, I want to continue to spread that message. I want to continue to help and, and grow the comic book community to make it stronger. So that is where I'm coming from when I say I want to reach 10,000 subscribers. And so my hope is that I can continue to put out really good content, that I can continue to elevate my own game. And as I do that, my hope is that more and more people will find the channel. And, and that's kind of where you guys come in. If, if you are enjoying the content that I put out on a weekly basis. If you're enjoying the giveaways and that kind of stuff, I definitely want to encourage you to stick around. If you haven't yet subscribed, I want to encourage you to do so now. Hit that subscription button, turn on notifications, right? And, and if you've already subscribed, I just want to ask you to continue spreading the word to your friends, your peers, your colleagues that are part of this comic book community. Encourage them to come over to the channel and check out the content. So with that, uh, I'm going to wrap this video up, but those are my two big goals for 2020, again, that I want to share right now. There may be more. There may be more, but we're not going to talk about those right now, <laughs> but those are the two. Now, with that said, I actually want to give you guys an opportunity to add a really cool book to your collection. And thanks to the folks over at Go Collect who put me in a position to be able to do really cool giveaways. I want to talk about this book right here. This right here is a really, really cool book uh, that I am actually, um, uh, it's cool to hold this because I've never actually held an Atlas Comics book before. You may wonder, what is Atlas Comics? Atl At Atlas Comics is Marvel, is Marvel Comics. It was the company that predated, predated Marvel. And so uh, this is Spellbound number 12 from Atlas Comics. Spellbound number 12 from Atlas Comics. It is a 3.0 off-white from 1953. This is a Stan Lee story. And uh, it is a really, really cool cover. Again, this is an awesome book. Shout out to the folks at Go Collect for again, putting me in a position for 50 plus weeks to be able to do a really cool giveaway of, of some awesome books back to the comic book community. I can tell you that this book has not been cleaned or pressed and there is definitely room for a grade bump as I look at this book 
through the CGC holder, uh, this easily could be a much higher grade. Well, I shouldn't say much higher, but a higher grade than the 3.0. So there you go. If you are interested in adding this book to your collection, Spellbound number 12, all you have to do is head over to the community tab. Once on the community tab, you look for the post where I'm talking about this week's giveaway. There will be a link to MailChimp. You click on that link, you go to MailChimp, you plug in three pieces of information. Two pieces of those information are related to you. One is a phrase that I'm actually going to give you in just a second. You plug that phrase into the MailChimp form, you hit the submit button, and you are automatically entered into the giveaway. Then you tune in to the Ready, Set, Go preview show, which airs Sunday night at 7.30 p.m. Pacific time to find out if you're the winner. The criteria, be a subscriber to the channel be a resident of the United States, resident of Canada, or have a mailing address in the United States. That's essentially all that you have to do. Remember, I gave two calls to subscribe to the channel. There is a reason for it because it makes you eligible for the various giveaways that I do. With that, I, oh, I have to give you the phrase. Don't <laughs> the phrase is spelling B. Spelling B is this week's phrase. Spelling B, two words. And yes, spelling actually counts. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram, Reggie Collects, or you can send me an email to Reggie at ReggieCollects.com. Take care.